हेलो 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 फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन माय पेपर टाइटल इज हीट ट्रांसफर ऑगमेंटेशन इन फोर्स कन्विक्शन विथ रेगुलरली स्पेस इन्सर्ट अ रिव्यू पेपर आई इज फोर सेवन एट टू ऑथर नेम इज एस एस काले एंड एस एस गावड़े लेट्स गो विथ द कंटेंट द कंटेंट ऑफ द पेपर इज इंट्रोडक्शन लिटरेचर सर्वे एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडी ऑन रेगुलरली स्पेस इन्सर्ट कंक्लूजन एंड रेफरसेस लेट्स गो विथ द इंट्रोडक्शन द हीट ट्रांसफर ऑगमेंटेशन टेक्निक is made for increasing heat transfer with minimum increase in the pumping power heat transfer is measured by measuring a heat transfer coefficient or by measuring nusselt number heat transfer augmentation reduces the operating cost of the equipment and heat transfer enhancement technique can be classified into three types as active passive and compound in active technique we require a input power whereas in passive we don't require any kind of input power and in compound method its combination of active and passive the performance of heat transfer augmentation can be measured by three term as nusselt number friction factor and overall enhancement ratio we know the nusselt number is hl by k where h is heat transfer coefficient l is the characteristic length and k is the thermal conductivity a friction factor is a measure of the pumping power whereas overall overall enhancement ratio is nothing but A ratio of nusselt number and friction factors. In the numerator, we have taken n u upon n u zero, whereas n u zero is the nusselt number without taking insert, whereas n u is the nusselt number with insert. Similarly, f is the friction factor without insert, and f zero is the friction factor with insert. So this ratio gives you overall enhancement ratio. And if the overall enhancement ratio is more, it seems that the heat transfer augmentation technique is good this is some of the literature survey or the paper which we have referred first paper is of 1989 which is written by sk shah the working fluid which is used is the water the flow type is laminar flow uh, it is used for heating the renold number range is a 500 to 2300 and insert type is used regularly space twisted tip this is the arrangement which is shown over here for the twisted tip in this the major finding is friction factor and nusselt number for a space ratio greater than 0 can be both greater or smaller than for a space ratio is 0 for a space ratio more than 7.5 the major friction factor is always found to be less than that of the value of s0 another paper which is written by a w date and u n gaitonde in 1919 they are use working fluid as water flow is laminar used for heating application renold number range is again 500 to 2300 and regularly space twisted tip is used in this particular the correlation of friction factor and nusselt number predicted for the experimental data of shah is within the 15% another work which has happened in 2001 paper written by sk shah working fluid is water the flow type is laminar i used for application of heating a renold number range is 45 to 1150 regularly spaced to straight tip is used and the flow arrangement or the insert arrangement is similar to what we have seen previously the major finding is difference between heated friction factor and isothermal friction factor for regularly spaced twisted tip element is substantially less than that in case of plain tube going with another work which is done by smith imsard in 2005 the working fluid used is water it is worked in the turbulent flow used for an heating application the renold number range is 2300 to 8800 whereas the space ratio is 1.5 Point five and two. Here, regularly spaced helical tape swirl generators are used. You can see here swirl generators are available. The major finding of this is when using a small space ratio of point five, the mean nusselt number is around fifteen percent lower than the full length helical tape with a centered rod. But the reduced or pressure drop is about sixty three percent. So you can see here that the pressure drop is reduced. a uh, 63% whereas the nusselt number is near about 15% another work is done by smith imsard in 2006 for a turbulent flow and the renold number range is 2000 to 
12,000. Regularly spaced twisted tape is used. The arrangement is shown over here. Its founding is, it was found that the Nusselt number was within uh, plus or minus 15% and plus or minus 10% for the friction factor. So Nusselt number varies with the range of 15% whereas the friction factor varies with the range of 10%. Another work done by the Smith Insard in 2014 by taking working fluid as air. Flow type is turbulent. The Reynold number is between 5000 to 12000. Regularly spaced twisted tape is used and the arrangement is shown over here. The major finding of this particular paper is the experimental result show that the heat transfer rate and friction increases with decreasing twist ratio and space ratio. At similar condition, a full line twisted tape offered a higher heat transfer rate and friction factor and thermal performance factor is shown over here. Another work which is done by Kumbar, DG and Sani NK taking working fluid as water. The fluid type is turbulent. It is used for heating application. Reynolds number range is 4200 to 16000 and the insert arrangement used is a dimple tube with regularly spaced twisted tape. Major finding is full line twisted tape with a dimple tube gives a better performance compared to the other combinations. Another work in the 2008 happened with the turbulent flow heating application Reynolds range is 6000 to 24000 the insert arrangement is shown over here as like this the major finding is regularly spaced twisted tip in all arrangement yield lower heat transfer rate and cause lower friction loss in as compared to the normal case another <coughs> study done in 2020 John Dew and all working fluid is taken air turbulent flow Heating application is used. Reynolds number is 6000 to the 18000. The, uh, the insert arrangement is shown over here. The major finding is heat transfer rate and flow resistance are respectively augmented by 35.3% to 49.4% and 1.48 to 1.70 times. The Gan Liu et all worked in 2020 taking working fluid as water. The flow type is turbulent. Heating application, Reynolds number range is a 10,000 to 35,000. So it has gone for a turbulent range. The arrangement, twisted tape arrangement is shown over here. It is shown that the segmented type insert can increase the overall heat transfer by 23.5% and friction factor by 235%. While local improvement along the tube can be 2.8 times more than that of the plain tube. So these are the major paper which I have referred. Now going to the experimental work which is done by some of the scientists Smith Imsard work and he have plotted a graph of Reynolds number versus Nussel number. It has found that as the Reynolds number increases the Nussel number goes on increases and we have find that Nussel number is maximum for the full length helical. In the another graph a Reynolds number versus a pressure drop is plotted and we have seen that the pressure drop is very high for the full length helical without rod. It has found that as the Reynolds number increases, the pressure drop also goes on increases. In the another study by Smith Imsard plotted a graph of Reynolds number versus Nussel number. In this, we have seen that as the Reynolds number increases, Nussel number also goes on increases. And we have found out that a highest Nussel number is for the uh, twisted tape where the space ratio is of 2. In the another graph where the Reynolds number versus friction factor is plotted and as the Reynolds number increases friction factor goes on reduces we found that the friction factor is highest for the twisted tape with the space ratio of 2. In the another study of, done by the Kumbar DJ et al. They have plotted a graph of Reynolds number versus Nusselt number. Here also we find that as the Reynolds number increases, Nusselt number goes on increases. Here we got Nusselt number highest where a P is 3 and Y by D ratio is 2 and S by D ratio is 0. In another study, Reynolds number versus friction factor is plotted and it has found that as the Reynolds number goes on increases, the friction factor goes on dropping. Here, we have seen that the friction factor is more for a P, pitch ratio of 3, Y by D ratio of 2 and S by D ratio of 0. 
Here in the Smith Insert, another study shows that the graph of Reynolds number versus the efficiency. Efficiency is equivalent to the overall enhancement factor. Here we have seen that the full line twisted tip with y is equal to 6 gives you a highest efficiency and it has found that the efficiency goes on dropping as the Reynolds number goes on increases. So for the lower Reynolds number we got a higher efficiency. Another study by the Samurising here the Reynolds number and the total enhancement factor or thermal enhancement factor is plotted and it has seen that as the Reynolds number increases the thermal enhancement factor goes on reduces. Here is the another study in which Reynolds number versus efficiency is shown and here we have seen that the highest efficiency we got for LPIP ratio is of 0.7 and here also we have seen that as the Reynolds number goes on increases the efficiency goes on dropping. The conclusion of the paper is that in the literature it has been found that the different researchers have a different finding for a regularly spaced insert. Researcher basically found result for a different Reynolds numbers with variation of space between the insert. Majority of the researchers have used a twisted tape as insert. The general trend is that with increase in space between insert reduces the pumping power required. Also it reduces friction power of the insert. In some of the researchers, overall enhancement factor increases with increase in space between insert but some research has shown adverse effect. More studies required for the concrete conclusion, enhancement factor found to be improved between 1 to 1.66 at various Reynolds numbers. These are the references which I have referred. Thank you.